Hello, I'm Feather Ennis, and this is our second holiday episode of Ask a Kid, our Christmas special with the youngest generation we could possibly ever find. The Christmas season only reaches its full transformative potential in the minds of children. Their brains have yet to be tainted by the crushing and often terrible realities of adulthood. That's why today our experts of childhood will attempt to teach us and reignite our passions of Christmas and the holidays. What is the real Christmas spirit, and why does it affect us so deeply. Please introduce yourselves guys once again, starting with... Uh... I'm Dennis. Hey Dennis. I like to play the piano and draw. Cool. It's good options. Now, um, not everyone was here for the first round of episodes maybe, so please guys, can you guys reintroduce yourselves? My name is Lisa and I'm seven years old. I'm in second grade and I like mermaids to swim. My name is Polina, and I'm nine years old. My name is Layla, and I uh, like unicorns. Perfect. My name is Jenya, and I like uh, and I like insects. Perfect. Now, um, thank you guys for joining us once again. Uh, I'm not feeling uh, all that particularly holiday festive. I know I have this uh, tree. I wear these clothes, um, but uh, Christmas is not really um, hitting its full potential with me right now. So I'm going to attempt to reignite it with you guys. Um, with that being said, Christmas is coming up pretty soon. Um, what is Christmas, guys? It's a holiday. It's a holiday that we celebrate. OK, cool. Um, uh, do you guys know when it started? No. Mm -hmm. What's the story of Christmas? Let me hear it. Santa Claus gave everybody who's been good the whole year presents at night so nobody could see him. Why does nobody want to see him? Because he's magical and he doesn't want to give away the secret. What's the secret? That uh, he is Santa Claus. What if I told you guys I was Santa Claus? I would not believe it. Not believe then show me your powers and how you get into chimneys. My finger could be removed. Powers. All right, so uh, what is, uh, do you guys know how old Christmas is? No. 35. Strange, I know, right? You think what it's old. 36? Yeah, it's like 36, 35. What about 100? No, not 100. I think it's, I think it's just getting middle-aged. Um, but yeah, it's not, yeah, I know, right? Mind-blowing, right? It was made in 1985. 1985? Yeah. Did you do the math on that real fast? Uh-huh. What? You guys heard it. Christmas started in 1985 today. Can we get a graphic on the bottom, maybe, of like a, like holidays or something? Yeah. It's playing right now. We got a graphic right now going. Um, so, uh, question for you guys: uh, What do you guys uh, What do you guys think of uh, where the presents the presents tradition came from? I know. Let me hear it. Mm, one time there was this kid, and for decorations, he put a tree up, and then at night this Superpower came and put a present under his tree. Cool. That's that is is that a fact? I think. Christmas fact, potentially. Uh, Layla, when do you think when do you think uh, presents came into Christmas? Do you think they came in at what what year what year did Christmas start again? 1985. Do you think they started in 1985? More than likely. All right, so a question for you guys. Um, one more thing. Uh, what do you think, uh, who do you think decides, get, who do you think, who decides gets all the presents? Um, I think Santa Claus watches everybody and... Okay. He's omnipresent. Is he here right now? Yeah, watching? everybody's good. Okay. 
For example, if somebody's not good, they don't give him. He doesn't give them presents. Okay. You know your, well, we'll talk about it later. I but think Santa Claus has a million elves to watch every single person, and those elves tell the, the single day to Santa Claus, and then the Santa Claus decides who should I give presents to. So the elves are watching, and they're yeah. like, they're radioing back. Yeah. I think he has one million eyes. He has... <laughs> That'd be weird. You say Santa Claus has one million eyeballs? Yeah. Oh, okay. So he's I like a fish. Th I think uh, Santa Claus uh, goes into each house and puts there an elf on the shelf. Okay. S and what elf on the shelf is watching everything what happens in the house. And if oh. the kids are naughty, oh, God. and what happens, the... Santa Claus gives them presents full of coal. So the elf is watching us. Elf on the shelf. Oh, okay. All right, good to know. I like, I like, I like that I know that now. Um, question, though. Do you guys believe in Santa Claus? I do. Really? I do. Guess what, guys? You're looking at him right now. I I'm don't Santa. think you're Santa Claus. I just showed you my power. Show me one more power. Aren't you 51? No, I'm not. Disappear. I'm not 51. Disappear, and then I believe that you're Santa Claus. Well, I'm not disappearing right now. We have only 15 minutes of this show. Then you're not Santa Claus. I'll show you guys at the end real fast, once we roll the credits. Um, okay. okay, what do you guys know about him then? Or me, but you know, what do you guys know about him? I know, I think Santa Claus can turn into coldness. That's how he gets into houses and through the chimney. He turns into coldness? Yeah. Into cold wind. So he's like a ghost. Snow, like, okay, cool. And turns back into Santa Claus, gives the presents, goes back. Okay, okay. What else do you guys know about Santa Claus? I don't believe. You don't believe in Santa Claus? Mm -mm. You're looking at him right now. Do you I not? think not. He is fat, maybe. Okay, well, no, nah, he's not that fat. Yeah, he's also been trying to lose weight recently, so, you know, that's, that's a thing going on. Uh, what else do you guys know about him? He goes to the 24 Fitness. <laughs> nope, you're wrong. He goes to American uh, American Barbells Club. That's where he goes to get his pump. Where else does he go? Or, I'm sorry, what else does he do, guys? How do you know that? I, I told you. I, well, I think you're not Santa Claus. Pretty sure I'm Santa Claus. Santa Claus is older. Well, you know what? Um, and he has a hat on the top, the pom-pom. Well, I just don't always want to wear my hat, that's all. Moving on. I'm Santa Claus, by the way. All right, do you, uh, this, this, this is a strange question, uh, but uh, it's, I'm not asking it. Um, the producer's asking it. Um, do you guys lie to your parents? Oh, I know, right? This is a tricky one. Think about your words wisely, okay, guys? What's say that again? Have you guys ever lied to your parents? Mm. Ooh, that's Five right. times. Five times? <laughs> wow, you have a number. Okay, cool. I like this. All right. You want to say? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Not sure. I don't know. Hey guys, you know what? Let's just pretend like our parents aren't here right now. I never think about counting how much times I lie to them. Okay. So you're more like a, you go with the flow with your lies. Mm -hmm. Off the cuff, if you will. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right. Um, let me see. Question. Do you guys think magic is real? Yes. No. Mm, yes. No. Magic real? Got it. Yes. And I'm going to find it out. Okay. Magic, yes or no, real? I want to find out. Okay. You don't believe in magic? Mm -mm. What if it's like Thor, uh, <laughs> the Marvel movie, where magic and science are one and the same? It's basically not magic. It's basically I believe in powers. science, but I don't believe in magic. Okay. Because science and magic are different things. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. All right. I mean, science is good. In science, you're going to make things disappear. So basically, it's pretty much like magic explode wow well, no no let me hear that you got yeah you got you got a you got a you got a comment on that yeah yeah let me hear it um people that work to figure out things like disappearing mm -hmm. they didn't figure out yet so it doesn't really work like magic. so it's like it's magic until you figured it out and then it's science yeah. okay well that's pretty cool i like that actually that's it's probably true but you know what for now we're going to say Magic real, confirmed. And we can get a little graphic at the bottom saying that magic has been confirmed. Um, let me see, where do you guys, uh, where do you, what should I do to get more presents, guys? Be good, like very good. Very good? Yeah. Get more friends. 
Okay. Some lemonade. So we talked about that in the last last episode. I don't really have a lot of friends right now. Um, um well, maybe, I have a dog and a cat friend. Sorry. Maybe you could be more kind. More I, kind. I more mean, good, more present. I don't want to do that. To but, be honest, you're bullying right now. I mean, I feel a little bullied right now. I feel a little attacked right now, but I think it's okay. Maybe give out more money to poor people. But yeah, but see, now I'm giving away funds. And now, I mean, will they give me presents? Are they going to use that money to give me presents? Or? No. 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 Okay. They're basically taking away his job because he does his job and then he doesn't get money because he gives it away. I'm going to say, I'm not sure if that's necessarily true. Yeah. I'm going to put a pin in that, though, and say possibly. Um, let me see. Okay, so this is a real specific question. It's not coming from me. Um, if you guys had a $20 bill, how would you guys spend it? $20. Let's go. Target. Target. Just no, Target. Maybe not Target. Maybe not Target. We'll come back to you. What would Donated. you do with a $20 bill? 20 mm -hmm. whole dollars. You found it on the floor. It belongs to nobody. I would buy toys for me. Okay. Cool. What would you Wait. do with a $20 bill? I would leave it and save it up to something I want. Okay. Pretty cool. Layla, what would you do with a $20 bill? Uh, I will go to Target. You go to Target too. Target, it's it's a it's like a it's like a it's a wide net. There's so many possibilities at Target. What would you get at? What would you get with a twenty dollar bill? Mm, I would possibly save it okay. because then you get more and I can buy bigger stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm mean, I'm not an economist. I don't know how um, I don't know how that works. But I'm gonna say yeah. I what about that, one thousand? One thousand dollars? Okay, yeah. Let's, 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 let's just bump this question up. Thank you so much. Uh, what would you guys do with a thousand dollars? Let me hear. Um, donate. Wow, donate. Nice. What would you donate to? I don't know. Donate to somebody. Someone's getting that thousand dollars. What do you What do you do with thousand dollars? Um. Donate some to my mom and dad, and okay. leave the rest for later. Okay, that's good. I think that's a good investment. What would you do with thousand dollars? I'll give some to my mom and dad, and to my sister, and then buy a phone. Buy a phone. Okay, cool. What would you do with a thousand dollars? Thousand smackaroos. What would you do with it? Can't question. Would you buy a plane? Yeah. It's pretty good. It's Planes good cost more. Well, you know what? She's gonna she can get one on discount. What would you do with a thousand bucks? I would um, I would give some to my family. Okay. Some save for later. Yeah. And a really tiny bit I'll spend for something. On a plane, maybe? Mm, maybe. Maybe that's this too plane much. Is not too no, big. You know, yeah, it's a small plane. Okay. Um, do you guys have siblings? Yep. Cool. No. That, that's the last question, no. guys. We're wrapping up now. Um, if you guys uh, liked what you saw want to see more, go ahead and uh, visit our YouTube channel. If you guys want to be a guest or if you guys have some questions for children or teens, please uh, email us. Uh, email us at... Uh, Ask a teen show at gmail.com. Once again, that's ask a teen show at gmail.com. Thank you so much. All right, guys, that was it. I think we're done now. Can you go get pizza now? Wow, guys. All right. Bye. I mean, potentially. No, 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 no. Let me jump this.